end of the project, nearly finished the um, stitching of the nylon net overlay. So how do you feel that the project has gone overall? Are you pleased with the results? Definitely. I felt as though it's been really good to be able to remove that previous restoration and to prevent the further damage being caused by those degrading materials mm. and the very unstable stretcher. It's really provided a, a good even support yeah. over the whole embroidery and sort of holding it all together. And I think it looks so much uh, fresher and brighter, both as a result of our um, cleaning, but also just um, on this new backing fabric. You know, it helps accentuate the, the wonderful colours in it. And even though the net does have a slight um, visual impact, you can see it over the darker colours like the blues. The benefits really outweigh mm -hmm. having a support that will you know, make sure it can travel around the world and be stored vertically as yeah. well. I think we've had a, a good opportunity to look more closely at this textile mm. very few people have had that. I think we've learnt and uh, increased the knowledge about the, the work. Um, in particular, it's been very interesting to find out um, about the dyes. Yeah. Um, and, and to see the back. And to see the back, well. yeah. Hello again. Last time I was in the middle of the preparation of the samples. The samples have been analysed. I've analysed more than 25 samples and now we're going to talk a little bit about the results we've got. As you know, we had several colours and starting from the browns, the browns were present in the outline of the embroidery. We took at least three samples from all these regions and the result was quite expected because this is a tannin based dye. Then we had two different sources of red. This is from the tunic of the Buddha and this red sample is from the skirt of this figure on the left hand side. For the Buddha the red was mother. Mother is the queen of the reds. It has been used from every culture the other red was not identified. This means that I could see many molecules, but I cannot say where the molecules come from. So this still remains a little bit of a mystery for us. The pink was not visible, or at least clearly visible, from the front of the textile. You saw when we showed the UV illumination that at some point we had some orange fluorescence and we mentioned safflower. And yes, safflower was confirmed. This is what the petals of safflower look like. They are used to dye both in yellow and in red. We can get also pink shades. And then finally the purple. I mentioned the true purple, the Tyrian purple. The purple was present in, in this stripe. It was not. It was actually a mixture of two colorants. One is called Gromwell. It is a plant typical of the Chinese region, but in this case it was found to be mixed with sapan wood. It is a red dye obtained from the heartwood of a tree. To obtain the shade that they wanted, they had to adjust the color with another dye source. Yes, the brown are all tannin based, mm. but there are other yellows. We managed to identify almost all the dyes that were present in the embroidery, except for a couple of them, definitely a red and probably a yellow as well. To try to understand what these are, I made a list of plants from China that were used in this period and I tried to find them. Some of them were in our collection, they just hadn't been analysed. Some of them were found via colleagues in other museums. Some of them come from the Institute of Chinese Medicine. So now I have around 30 plants. If I'm lucky, hopefully, I will manage to solve the mystery, even though with such objects, a little bit of mystery is always welcome. <laughs> the mystery. I, well, what is driving me crazy is this color. The technique that we've chosen, it, it kind of 
fits in with the conservation ethic of reversibility. Mm. So, um, you know, if at a future date our conservation materials begin to degrade and no longer do their job, mm. um, it will be a relatively simple and straightforward and safe uh, procedure to remove and redo that. But yeah. let's hope that's not for another hundred years or so. It really is now safe to go off travelling around the world and to be appreciated in its uh, full glory by mm. the visiting public. And also to, to help preserve it for, for the future generations. Mm. I think we should be very pleased with the results. Mm.